decided to celebrate cakes this entire week because, you know, why not? I mean, really, it's 2020. Bring on the cakes! And our next guest is a cake enthusiast, host of Food Network's Girl Meat Farm, an award-winning blogger and author of Molly on the Range. And you can see my book is completely annotated and folded over. Please welcome someone who I'm so freaking out to meet, Molly, yay! Hi, Drew! I am so freaking out to meet you. Happy Cake Week. This is the best week ever, officially. Look at my cookbook. Can you, like, tell how ridiculously dog-eared um, it is? Okay, so I saw last night on Instagram that you made my ex-boyfriend's meatless balls from that book. And let me tell you, Drew, that just completely validated that entire relationship. <laughs> I have a few meatless ex-boyfriends too, so I totally get it. And um, I just think that reading your cookbook also, you're such an incredible storyteller. I've poured through your blog. I love oh, your you. writing so much and your whole life and your husband and your baby and it's cake week. So let's do this. What cake are we making? Okay, we are making my chocolate chili splatter cake, which is so rich and chocolatey and moist. It's really easy to make and it's so much fun to decorate. All right, so tell me to what to start do. Off, okay, so I use my basic go to chocolate cake here, which I love because you don't need a stand mixer to make it. You just need two bowls and a whisk. All the ingredients are easy to have on hand at all times for cake emergencies. The dry ingredients I always mix up first. It's just flour, sugar, unsweetened cocoa powder, your leavening agents, baking powder, and baking soda. Look and how beautifully salt. this is placed, Molly. I really love this. It's like the dry <laughs> ingredients, but they're like in a perfect... Nick, can you and does see it that? Smell, like, can Mark. you smell the cocoa powder too? I just love the Certainly smell of can. making cake. <laughs> um, and then... I like to add a little bit of cayenne pepper because chocolate and chili go really nicely together. One of my uh, favorite things little... that is in your book, which I've never seen anywhere, is you have, um, is it cayenne sprinkles? Yeah, you can, okay, did you know that you can make your own sprinkles? Now that it's cake week, you should try it. It's so easy. It's Maybe just we could do a digital piece up. for how to make your own sprinkles. Okay, what yes. next? And then when you make your own sprinkles, you can do different flavors. Okay, next we have the wet ingredients. I've got my eggs, oil, milk, and then some vanilla. And you just whisk up the wet ingredients, add it to the dry ingredients, mix it up. Okay. And now here comes my little tip. Once most of these ingredients are incorporated, you add boiling water and the boiling water helps the cocoa powder to incorporate and bloom. So it, it becomes its best version of itself when it hits the boiling water. You could also use hot coffee, but the reason that you add it at the end is because you don't want the boiling water to cook the eggs that were in the wet ingredient mixture. So this gets mixed up and then you want to be careful not to overmix it because that could create a gummy cake and nobody wants that. Once this batter is mixed, it goes into the cake pans. I'm using two eight inch cake pans, but you could also do a sheet cake or cupcakes, any shape you want. It gets baked at 350 for about 28 minutes. And then this is the frosting. It's just a basic American buttercream. It's softened butter, powdered sugar, a little bit of milk. Or instead of milk, you could also use booze, depending on what mood you're in. I and love then it. <laughs> Cayenne, coffee, booze. Molly, you're not only the cutest, the prettiest person, you're also the coolest. I love you, Drew. I love you, Molly, You are the so coolest. Much. I love you. <laughs> okay, so once you have your frosting and your cake, you frost it to create this canvas. And now we're just going to mix up our paint and unleash our inner Jackson Pollock. Oh. So the pa all the paints are are just powdered sugar and water or milk or any liquid. Again, you can use a little booze in here too. And then you mix it up with some food coloring. You can use gel or liquid food coloring. Can I tell you, you what Lisa and Ashley paint. did here who set this up, by the way? They yeah. did rainbow spatulas, which I bet are, yep, they're flower oh, shop, Amira, but, that match it. Oh, okay, I'm going. Can I splatter? Shop. I love I'm Amira. So She's going to come Let's on this go. week. Ready? Oh, fun. Okay, I'm going to be watching. Okay, now we're going to splatter. So you just start off with a little bit and you just drizzle it all over. I mean, it's right. not rocket science oh, here. God. We're, we're Molly. having fun. You, Mine already you looks this. crappy, but I, oh. No, you know it what? doesn't. It looks gorgeous. Oh my God, this is one of the funnest things I've ever done. Are you kidding me? It's so fun. There and if you, if you make a mess, life. it tastes good. Oh my God, <laughs> Molly. Oh my God, it's I'm not kidding. Fun. I'm gonna go home and do this with my daughter 
yours tonight. My daughters oh, live. Yay. Oh my God. I oh mean, my this God. Is such a wait, fun thing. Yeah. Wait. You can get the whole family involved. Ah! Ah! Hold on. Ah! Yes! 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 Oh, Molly! Oh! Yes! That's it! I did it! Go to our website for the full recipe. And Molly, let's do everything together in life. I'm so in love with you. I think you're the coolest, prettiest, I neatest, love you so much. most wonderful thing. And everybody agrees because everybody loves you. So please, let's do more. Go to the DrewBarrymoreShow.com for you, the full Drew. recipe. Molly! Yeah!